All right, hopefully everything is nice and stable this time around. What's good, y'all? Soul here, and welcome back to the story mode. So, uh, this is only about an hour or so after the official live stream for Summer Games Fest, where they revealed just, just so much. We just, they, they, they gave us a lot. Even in the, the, the indie space, they gave us so much, you know? I'm looking forward to stuff from Blumhouse Games. That's how you know that show was actually pretty damn good, all right? And he told us to keep our expectations low, but quite frankly, I, I mine were already low because I was waiting for two things and two things only, right? Of course, I, I was already aware that Kingdom Hearts wasn't gonna show up at <laughs> Summer Games Fest. There was just no way in hell we were gonna see any kind of Kingdom Hearts. There was no way, right? Right. But I already knew that we were getting info on Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, which was phenomenal. Very, very nice trailer there. And Sonic X Shadow Generations. And unfortunately, since I lost all my footage from that, I decided, all right, well, the next best thing that we can do now is just go ahead and analyze the trailer a little bit, right? Just kind of, you know, take a couple minutes, just kind of deep dive into this trailer. And I I figured the best way to do that is kind of like, kind of like a live type situation, right? So unscripted, just like raw thoughts and things like that, because I can't stop thinking about this trailer right now. This is all that's on my mind. I just, I can't wait for Sonic X Shadow Generations. It's so, it's stupid, right? So let's go ahead and do some analyzing, right? So obviously, you know, I'm gonna turn it down just a little bit, you know what I'm saying? I gotta turn it down just a tidbit. But, you know, obviously we're gonna have a lot of shots from the original Sonic Generations, you know? And that's totally fine, right? That's 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 good and dandy and all that good stuff. Um, but once they actually get to the, the anti-hero section here, we actually get some brand new footage, right? So I'm gonna I'm go ahead and stop it, right? And uh, out of panic, I'm just gonna make sure I'm still recording here. Yes, we're good, all right, excellent. So, first shot. First shot we get to analyze here is this right here. This is obviously, you know, oh, and you know, there's a there's a lot of like information that uh, we didn't get to talk about yet. And you know what? I'll just talk about that really quick before we get into analyzation territory because this is, you know, important information to know, right? It's all on the website. As a matter of fact, you, as a matter of fact, let's just go on the website right now. This is the most risky thing I've ever Googled in my entire life, right? Okay, so, whoa. Stop it. Okay, so, here we are on the website, right? And it shows us the return of Shadow. In this new standalone campaign, Shadow's nemesis, Black Doom, has reemerged and threatens to take over the world once again. Shadow must journey into his past, confront his painful memories, and unlock new dark powers to save the world, right? So, if you're unaware for whatever reason, Black Doom was the antagonist, the main antagonist of Shadow's, you know, standalone game, Shadow the Hedgehog, where he was the leader of the... What's the alien race? The, 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 the dark, the dark arms. He was the, the leader of the dark arms. That's his alien race army. And that was trying to take over the world and things like that, right? I don't exactly remember the story all that deeply or anything like that. Because, you know, we, I didn't hold on to it too heavily because it's, we're not even sure if it's canon. Uh, but, uh, but apparently, I guess it is in a way, which is very strange in of itself. But essentially, Black Doom is part of why Shadow exists, right? It's confirmation that Shadow is part alien as well as part hedgehog, you know? He was made using the DNA of Black Doom and uh, Gerald Robotnik's, you know, or no, I'm sorry, um, Professor, what, whatever the, you know, Eggman's grandfather's name is, uh, General Robotnik, and, uh, you know, he, he used his DNA to create Shadow the Hedgehog. And in turn, you know, that's why he tried to manipulate Shadow throughout Shadow the Hedgehog. So, Shadow is part alien, and, you know, it's kind of just, this is his return to form. This is him revisiting, you know, this, this dark past of his and really confronting things in a more proper form, right? And so, Shadow evolved, right? So, harness Shadow's new Doom powers to battle hordes of enemies and tackle platforming challenges like never before surf on water fly over obstacles and stop time with the return of chaos control right so we saw in the trailer that shadow just gets these crazy just symbiote wings for lack of a better term it's absolutely insane they are going just full out just like you know what if he's an alien we got it we got a we got to bleed into that, man. And they, they they really went all out with that. And so now Shadow has these wings. He has a bunch of different abilities from his alien counterpart and things like that. And you're going to learn and get to know all these powers throughout the playthrough. And that's really, really sick, right? 
Journey through time and dimensions. Experience the ultimate shadow showdown between Shadow and Black Doom in a new boss battle that will test your skills and reflexes. Use all of Shadow's abilities to defeat Black Doom and save the world. Okay, so, okay, so, I mean, essentially, this is, like, a new form of Black Doom that we haven't seen before. We're gonna be fighting Black Doom in a, you know, in a new light. He's gonna be much stronger than he was before, and it's gonna be, you know, it's, it might be a little bit of a challenge, you know? They're, they're, this is, you know, this is obviously a, you know, uh, this is a, a standalone situation for the fans, right? This is like, hey, you know, we know this is what you guys are getting this game for, but, you know, we, we know that you guys have played this game thoroughly for over 10 years, almost 10, 15 years now. So why don't we go ahead and actually put you guys to the test and give you guys a little bit of a challenge. So I'm looking forward to fighting Black Doom. Now here is one of the most interesting parts right here, right? Explore the new white space. Stretch your legs in an all new hub world inspired by the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers. As Shadow gains new powers, he can explore further and uncover the secrets hidden throughout. Okay, so that's incredible, right? That is amazing that they're basing the open zone gameplay of Sonic Frontiers and putting it to work in this little extra content situation for Sonic X Shadow Generations, right? And, you know, it was kind of obvious from the get-go that they were kind of pulling a Super Mario uh, 3D World X uh, Bowser's Fury type situation where you have the main game, however, there is a standalone kind of open hub situation, uh, extra content bit that comes with this new version of Bowser, with, of Super Mario 3D World, right? And so this is the same exact situation where we get to play Shadow, we get an open hub world situation, and this will lead us to all these different memories and events that we have to like uncover and unlock and things like that. And so that's, that's amazing. I'm just, oh, what a, what a beautiful way to start things off, right? That is just great to know. I think that was one of the smartest decisions they could have made, especially when re-giving us something like Sonic Generations that we played forever and ever and ever ago. Uh, giving us this new content is going to be really, really exciting, right? So, let's get back to things here. So, first shot here, we have Shadow just getting blinded by whatever's going on. I'm assuming that's the Time Eater, right? He, he He's getting blinded by the Time Eater, so Black Doom... Or maybe, I don't know, maybe it could be two different shots there, but it almost looks like they're, they're making it look like the Time Eater is, you know, kind of involved in this too. He's the one dragging... It would make sense that the Time Eater is the one dragging Shadow back to, you know, his past and facing his memories and things like that. I, I wouldn't be shocked if the Time Eater was involved. So, we'll, we'll, we'll get more into that, I'm sure, right? So, first off, this looks like... I believe it's called Sky Canyon from Sonic Heroes, right? That's what that's what all the the railing is for. This that's what the layout looks like. You can see the background. It looks a lot like Sky Canyon. Or I'm sorry, is that Sonic Adventure 2? I'm tripping hard. My bad. It's either from Sonic Adventure 2 or Sonic Heroes. It's it's I'm I'm blanking hard right now. But either way, you know you've got Eggman's little baddies here. You can see Shadow showing off all of his new techniques and things like that. He's grinding on rails like nobody's business. It looks great. You can see him. This is probably where he f first gets pulled through. You know, he's fallen to what feels like it's probably death because you can see all the buildings and everything like that. So obviously we get a little more gameplay from all three hedgehogs. You know, this right here is from the exact same area, Sky Canyon, whatever. That's cool. That's awesome. That's great. We get more bass battle stuff that we've done plenty of times before, whatever, whatever. Right, we're experiencing two separate adventures here, and so this is Sonic Adventure 2 Prime right here. I'm, oh man, I keep wanting to say Meteor. Here. This is um, this is the like his final stage from Sonic Adventure 2. We're finally this is this is something that we expected to see in the original Sonic Generations because this is such an iconic level, especially for Sonic and Shadow. You know, traveling through space that that entire section of just flying and utilizing all these gravity mechanics to, you know, make your way to different rails and fly through the level. It's so satisfying. And so I'm super glad that they uh, they got that up and running again for us. So that's really cool. So we're back to Sky Canyon, you know. And now here, this is what got me the most right here. Kingdom Valley, bro. They're, they went all out. They are really like, they're just like, you know what? We're doing whatever we want to do. And they're, they're they, they said, you know what? Sonic 06, in in concept is kind of raw the levels and the level design is not bad in 06 it needed some work it needed some des some desperate touch-ups and this right here proves it like this is what they prob this is more along the lines of what they may might have envisioned and they're finally giving it to us in the form of a shadow dedicated level and that is incredibly incredibly exciting that is so badass i cannot wait to play a proper kingdom valley 
that's so oh it's so good man you get the more more baddies man you get even the the eagle statues and we get to ride on the water again or the the wind again that's so baller dude that is so sick right so obviously some more gameplay here and this is where we we get this little cut here right you see that this is the like the first thing we ever saw from the sonic x shadow generations trailer that his eyes i can't i can't I'm, I'm fidgety. There we go. His eyes here. This is Black Doom right here. This is Black Doom, you know, manipulating him and things like that. And he, this is him accessing his alien, you know, counterpart, his true alien powers and things like that. Which is why he gets the insane, ginormous symbiote wings. And that's baller, dude. That is in freaking credible dude this is a sick ass render all right the box art looks beautiful i cannot wait to get my hands on it in digital because i don't have the physical ps5 unfortunately and that kills me but whatever it doesn't really matter all that much maybe i'll get the switch version too just because i'm just i'm crazy like that right we get the um, we get the sonic adventure legacy skin to play with that's super worth it that having that in of itself makes it so good okay i thought it was crazy i'm sorry it's gerald robotnik i'm so dumb i just blinked i'm just so excited that i just can't wrap my head around certain things here and there but anyway so we get gerald robotnik's journal detailing shadows creation splendiferous my goodness i'm I'm so excited to just delve into that. There's just so much information here that we're going to just enjoy, right? I know Ian Flynn went crazy. Okay, and then one of the craziest things is the Terrio skin. Now, apparently, I was not aware of this until an hour ago. This is apparently Shadow's original design. Before he looked like Shadow the Hedgehog, he was Terrio's, and he's just literally... It is just an edgier-looking Sonic the Hedgehog. Like, it's not like... A unique design uh, as opposed to shadows you know it's very it's very like sonic based you know what I'm saying and it's like okay yeah that looks like somebody's OC or something like that but I could see why they changed it up and they fixed things up here but I'm you know I'm getting the skin anyway I'll mess around with it we'll see what's up but you know as far as designs go I prefer shadows based design you know and so we get to play three days early if we get the, which I'm sure everybody's gonna do we get to play three days early if we get the digital deluxe edition as well as this new skin some uh, some extra you know background music we get some more music uh, the digital book art and things like that and some extra skill points skill points you know again very much uh, akin to Sonic Frontiers type situation so that's great that's awesome that's beautiful I cannot wait to get my hands on it this is an incredible just trailer right we could easily just analyze it for hours and hours but i don't have that kind of time <laughs> i really don't have that kind of time this right here this needs to go up pronto so either way so that just about does it for this one um we'll talk more about sonic x shadow generations maybe even some more hopes and wishes down the line we'll, we'll see how things play out but i am really looking forward to it but uh, I'm gonna pass the mic over to you guys and I want you guys to tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below Are you guys excited for Sonic X Shadow Generations? Are you going to be picking up the digital deluxe version or are you just gonna wait the extra three days and just cop the the, the the plain vanilla version and you're perfectly fine with that Tell me everything that you guys are thinking in the comment section below because you know for a fact that I'm always 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 gonna be down there with you guys But with that it does appear to be skip that little clock So I'm gonna go ahead and do just that I would like to thank you guys ever so much for watching I truly do hope you enjoyed do me the greatest favor drop a like and a comment and consider subscribing for more content Just like this here and with that I'm gone so next in hope you enjoyed and I'll be seeing you guys in the next video Do me the greatest favor taking good ass care and I'll see you all next time